Okay, today we're gonna to be cleaning shower heads. You'll need some distilled white vinegar, a quart storage bag, or you can also use a grocery bag and just tie it loosely around the shower head, a clip, or some rubber bands to tie off your bag or quart bag. This is the second bathroom out of the three bathrooms that I have. It's also the one that gets the most use since it belongs to my college kids that still live at home. It's also my kids' responsibility to keep their own bathroom clean. Today, I'll clean the shower head and tidy up a little bit. Cleaning a shower head seems counterintuitive, right? Doesn't it naturally get clean as I'm taking a shower? Sorry, but no. As the shower runs, minerals in the water start to build up in the holes of the shower and eventually forming moldy pockets and causing your shower to run less efficiently. So before you step in for your next rinse, here's how to clean a shower head with just a few minutes of prep work. First, you're gonna need that distilled white vinegar, a quart bag or a grocery store bag that you can tie around the shower head. Here's a clip that I'm gonna be using to seal off my quart bag, or you can also use rubber bands. Now let's put this plan into action and we're going to take our vinegar and pour it into your bag and place the shower head into the bag. And then if you need to, you can add a little bit more vinegar. Now we are going to seal the bag up. I will try to zip the bag as close as I can to a shower head. And then I'm gonna fold the bag over and use my clip to seal the bag off. I thought about letting the shower head hang down into the tub, but that wasn't gonna work. So instead I placed it in the corner of the tub next to the tile. Cleaning your shower heads is probably a chore you should do at least once a month. But for now, good morning, everybody. Well, it's that time. Time to take the shower head out of the bag with the vinegar in it. Let's dump the vinegar out. Next, I'm turning on the shower head and look, look at the black stuff going down the drain. Just in case you missed it, here it is in slow motion. This clean shower head definitely has more water pressure. This is before. And here is the water pressure after it's clean. And look at the difference in the shower head. Now that I'm through cleaning the shower head, I went ahead and I tidied up a little bit. I'm proud to say that my college kids do a pretty good job at keeping their own bathroom clean. And I only have to go in here for deep cleaning once in a while. Now we're going to move on to my second bathroom. It's the master shower. Here I'm testing the water pressure. And ooh, look at all the mineral deposit and mold, yuck. Let's put it in the bag with the vinegar. I'm adding a little bit of water and I'm gonna set this up on the shelf that holds my shampoo. And I'm gonna use a shampoo bottle to kind of keep it propped up where the shower head stays in the mixture of vinegar. Do you see the black specks that are already coming off? 
It's only been about three hours. Let's take this out of the bag and see what we got. Here's the water pressure afterwards. Look at how much cleaner the shower head looks. There is a little bit of residue that comes out easily with my fingernail. I would take a toothbrush to this with a little bit of baking soda. Here's the shower head after we cleaned it, the water pressure. Here we are before and after. I still have a third bathroom that the shower head needs to be clean. And we're gonna experiment with that in the near future. But for right now, I'm gonna enjoy my clean bathroom. Hang on just for a few more seconds because I have a tip of the day for you. It might help you save a little bit of money. There are several ways to save money on hand soap, but this is a little hack, and all you're going to be using today are these tiny little rubber bands. You may need up to two rubber bands for this hack, but we're gonna start with one. But first, let's take a look and see how much soap comes out of the pump. Here we go. That's a lot of soap. Now let's try one rubber band we're going to take this and twist it twice around the pump neck. Let's see how much soap we get out. Less soap. Let's try two rubber bands around the pump neck. Now let's see how much soap we get out with two rubber bands. We get less soap. What do you think of this money saving, soap saving idea? Is it worth it? Leave a comment below. Hi, it's Wendy. I look a mess. We are getting ready for a storm. You might've heard of the storm Nicole, which might become a hurricane. It might, it's gonna come across Florida somehow, some way. We're not too worried, but I've been in and out of the house and it's raining and we went to the store. Oh, do you see that? How cute is that? That was me when I was two years old. I think I'm just as cute, don't you think so? Anyways, I'm still trying to hit 200 subscribers. And when I hit 200 subscribers, we will have a nice giveaway. So remember to like, subscribe, and share and help my channel grow. I really appreciate it. You guys have a great day. Be safe. And I will see you next time. Bye.